God bless our homeland. Ghana. Bless our homeland. Ghana. Make a nation great and strong. Both to defend forever. The cause of freedom and of our rights. I still have with me Minister Corey Johnson all the way from the United States, Alabama to be precise. Minister Corey Johnson, you have been in Ghana for, you've been coming to Ghana for a while. Um, yes. I want to ask you, how many tourist attractions have you visited so far? Uh, I've, I've been uh, to Cape Coast, to the castle. I've been to Black Star Square, the, mm -hmm. bican the, the Botanical Gardens. The Kumasi, been a whole okay. Obasi. I've been I've been a, quite a few places. The beaches are nice here, okay. you know, so quite a few tourist attractions. The Black Star Square is very symbolic and historic, okay. you know, um, symbolizes the Ghanaian independence. So, okay. you know, I really enjoy the castle is one of my favorite places okay. as well too. Cape They're Coast. Very touching. Yes, yes. Very, yes, very yes, touching. Yes. Cape Coast is a very beautiful area. So Okay. So your but your favorite place is the castle. Uh, if I had to rank them, I would say right now, yes, the castle would be the favorite place, my favorite okay. tourist attraction. Okay. Yes, right. that's great. So, um, so what would be your advice to Ghanaians going forward? You know, I think that Ghana has great potential. If I had to say anything, I would say that look within yourself. You know, it's a lot of opportunity around here. You know, it's a lot of opportunity to succeed and to thrive. You know, the grass isn't always greener. You know, a lot of times people say, oh, I want to get to the UK, I want to get to the United States. You know, I want to get to this place. It's good to travel and it's good to see other places. Even if you go abroad to get education, you should always come back and pour into your motherland. You know, it's always great to go different places and see different sites. And I encourage that. But if I had to give any advice to Ghanaians, I would say look within yourself. You know, the culture is rich. You know, it's a lot of great opportunity here and, you know, find your way here. That's what I would say. That's great. Okay. You have um, the spirit of patriotism. Mm -hmm. uh, were you taught in school when mm -hmm. you were, I mean, growing up in the States? Mm -hmm. And here in Ghana, what do you see? Mm -hmm. I mean, the difference? Well, I think that you should be proud of whatever country you're from. Okay. And so I'm proud to be from America. America has many opportunities, you know, many advantages. You know, America is a great nation. You know, of course we have our problems just like anywhere has its problems, you know, but I'm proud to be an American. You know, I love my country, you know, and as an African-American, I can identify with Africa as well too. So I think it's important to really understand both, you know, to understand the country that, you're, that you were born in and to also, you know, try to trace back and do, you know, come back to your roots from where you're actually from. So yeah, you know, I'm proud to be an American. I love America. It provides me with great opportunity to succeed, you know, but success starts within yourself first. So you can succeed wherever you're from, whatever you came from or any obstacle that's before you, it doesn't matter, okay? Success comes from within. It doesn't necessarily, you can be from Kumasi, you can be from New York, you can be from whole Ghana, it doesn't matter, you know. So, but be proud of where you're from, understand where you're from, you know, and try to improve, you know, where you're at. Does that make sense? Yeah, okay. it makes sense, great.